Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and today I'd like to talk about happiness. I know that you all agree with me that your goal in sales is to create a happy customer. Happy customers will give you testimonials, they will refer you to their friends. Happiness is, think of it as an invisible currency that needs to be exchanged before customers will reach for their wallet. I'm sure you know how to create happy customers. The big question is, how do you make yourself happy? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, how happy are you right now? If you rated yourself as a 6 or less, so please stand up now and raise both arms over your head and pump your fist and say five times, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. It sounds silly, but... Come on and do it. Experience that. Think about how this feels. You change your physiology and that changes your energy. It changes your thoughts. It changes your facial expressions. And chances are that you're smiling now. And here's the good news. The positive effects of this exercise can stay with you for the next two to three hours. You just gave yourself the gift of happiness. And you can do it again and again at any time. There are a number of researchers that have found an interesting relationship between happiness and productivity. Dr. Sean Arcor, author of the book Before Happiness, he says that people with a happy mindset are 23% more energetic, they're 31% more productive, and 400% more creative. And here's the best part. Sean measured the impact of happiness on productivity and found that happy salespeople sell 38% more. That's why more and more companies incorporate the practical tools delivered by the School of Positive Psychology into their corporate training curriculum. For example, IBM has appointed 20 chief happiness officers with the goal to promote happiness among the 2,000 inside salespeople of their digital sales division. Here are seven things you can do to make you happy at work. Number one, bring a smile to work. Think about the sullen faces and the frowns of people who sit behind their desks. Do you sometimes wonder why they don't smile? Chances are because nobody gives them a smile. Take a leadership role and look at people in the eyes and start smiling. Every time you smile to a person, you start a little feel-good party in your brain. And your smiles will create a smile in other people's faces. Number two, create positive energy in every meeting before your next sales meeting. Recognize people for their achievements. End your meeting with two questions. What was the best moment of this meeting? And second, what can we do the next time to create more fun for everyone? Bring fun back into selling. Number three, make happiness the starting point of your customer conversations. Start your next sales call with this question. What can I do today to make you even happier than you already are? This will surprise your customer or prospect and it will put them in a better mood. Number four, practice gratitude. Create a daily list of what you are grateful for. Gratitude increases positive feelings and it boosts happiness. Number five, take a happiness break. Reduce stress and recharge your batteries. If your company does not have a game room, a lot of people don't, or a yoga room or a gym, Go for a quick walk, put on your headphones, listen to music that makes you happy, create a playlist to suit the occasion. Some salespeople like to play music from the Rocky movies, or you can uh, play Mozart uh, to get your mindset into a flow before writing a proposal. Music makes people happy. If you're having a really tough time, reach out to a friend. Talk about what's weighing you down. Sharing sorrows leads to a mindset reset. You shift your mindset back to happiness. Number seven, and this is something everyone should do, is learn how to meditate. 
close your eyes, focus on your breathing, quiet your mind, shift your focus from a thought creator to a thought observer. View your thoughts as small rivers that flow away from you, emptying into an infinite ocean. Enjoy letting go. Enjoy the flow. Enjoy being alive. Maybe you can visualize a fountain in front of your eyes. That fountain has appeared from out of nowhere. It's like magic. That is your fountain of happiness that you can create at any time. It's part of your inner magic. The essence of you is happiness. You are now authentically happy. Open your eyes and download your workbook to take a closer look at making happiness part of your daily action plan. Please join me in the next video. Thank you.